to make a video here about creating your own activity. Uh, sometimes they're referred to as apps, sometimes activities. Obviously, Garmin Phoenix 3 comes pre-installed with a whole bunch of activities or apps. Long press the up button, get to settings, start, go to apps, and you can see all of these that are pre-installed. All these ones that you can add on or whatever. But what you want to do is create your own. So you go to add new and you can choose an activity type. All I'm going to be doing is being in my living room doing push-ups. I'm not going to be outside because it's snowy and there's going to be a whole bunch of more snow in the next 24 hours here in Minnesota. And I'm not going to go to a gym, so I'm not going to go to a pool. I'm just going to do push-ups in my living room. It's not going to be any tactical or strength training or cardio. I'm going to call it other. Accent color. You get to choose little things here. I'm just going to put green. You can call it other or you can name it. I'm going to name it. Go down here and just name it however you want to name it. Obviously, call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it push-ups. And this is, I really like how you can customize this. And you can create your own things. And I like that it has a little keyboard here. Well, not keyboard, I guess, whatever it, whatever it is. And I like how they designed it. It's very easy to navigate. Doesn't take long. There we go, push-ups. And just go up here and call it whatever you want. Uh, you have access to a bunch of different things here. Capital letters, numbers, different punctuation marks. Once you're done, go to the check mark. Uh, choose an activity setting, use default. And I already created other ones here, but I'm going to use default. I want my GPS off. I don't need it, but for fun, I'm going to put it on. And I'm going to edit the settings. When you edit the settings, you can change the data screens, alerts, metronome, auto lap, all of these things. We're going to go through this right now. Data screens. This is what I want. Screen one. Layout. Distance, timer, speed. I don't need a distance. I don't need it. I do need a timer and a speed I don't need. I'm going to do it as, let's see, there's one field, two fields. Uh, I'll do it three fields, just like this layout. First one, I want timer. So I'm going to do timer. Second one, I want, uh, let's see, heart rate. I'll do my heart rate zone, let's say. There we go. Third one, I'll do calories. Because I don't need navigation, I don't need compass or elevation or temperature, any of that stuff. Third one, I'll do calories. Calories. Okay. There we go. Actually, yep, that sounds good. And go like that. Hit back. Screen two, I don't need one. I mean, I guess I could do one, but I don't need one. So I'm going to turn that off. Screen three, I don't need that. Now you can add as many data screens as you want. I mean, up to 10 and up to four fields for each screen. So that's 40 different metrics or measurements that you can have. Heart rate. I want my heart rate gauge on. I want my map on in case I do them outside. Okay. Virtual partner. No, I don't need that. Okay. Alerts. Do I need an alert? You can add an alert. You can do it custom. You can do heart rate. You can do speed, time, distance, calories, elevation. Um, I'm going to do it for calories because let's just say I want to burn 500 calories. I want to do enough push-ups to burn 500 calories. That means that every 500 calories, there's going to be an alert. So you check it. Calories. Frequency, every 500 calories. Yep. There we go. It's on. Perfect. The alert will let me know when I'm done. Metronome. This is key. The metronome. Anytime you want to have a certain uh, cadence or rhythm to something. Um, I'm assuming this is good for people who bike or run or do things in a certain rhythm. Push-ups. I want to maintain a certain pace. I don't want to go too fast. I don't want to go too slow. And since I'm not doing this um, as a timed activity, I'm going to put Beats per minute, 
It's set at 60, so that's once every second. I want my push-ups once every hmm, beats per minute, so that'll be 10 beats per minute, so that's once every six seconds. And that's what I'll do, once every six seconds. Alert frequency, every beat. You can also change it every other beat. Maybe I'll do a push-up every 12 seconds. Well, I don't really like that, so I'll do it every six. Sounds. You can adjust tone and vibration, tone and vibration, all that stuff. Now here's the preview of what it'll sound like and look like for my metronome when I'm standing and doing push-ups. See, it makes a sound and it vibrates. And that's what I'll keep. Auto lap. I don't need an auto lap, so I'm going to turn that off because I'm not going anywhere. Auto pause, off, auto climb, off, 3D speed, all that stuff. Lap key, I don't need that on because I'm not doing any sort of laps. GPS on, timeout, normal. Background color, white or black, yep. Accent color I have as green. Status, show. That means move up, move down, yep. That means when I go to do an activity, when I long press, so now I'll pretend that I'm doing the actual activity, go like that, go to push-ups, start it, wait for GPS. I'm not wearing my heart rate monitor, Tempe thermometer's there, I got Bluetooth. GPS is good, and here we go. Every six seconds, there should be a metronome. Okay, that means do a push-up. Means do a push-up. See, and that'll set my pace. Once down here, once I hit 500 calories, obviously I'm not moving. But once I hit 500 calories, an alert will sound, and that's when I'll stop my workout. If I had my heart rate monitor on, heart rate zone would show there. And that's what would happen. Now when I'm done, I can go like this and do it just like any other app. Resume, save, discard, all that stuff. So I'm going to discard it. And that's how you create your own activity or your own app. And it's awesome. You can see here, I just created one. A baby boy, that was when my son was born. Winter one, that was when I went on a little run and all that stuff. There's stationary one. There's Find Phone, Project Waypoint, all these other things that are on here. All right, people, I hope this helps you out. Have fun this winter.